The Princess of Wales was full of charm in a camel-toned ensemble to attend a poignant engagement in East London on Tuesday, hours after showcasing her sartorial prowess in a Holland Cooper double-breasted jacket in Yeoville earlier this week. Princess Kate looked smart and sophisticated in yet another power suit to meet with Streets of Growth, a not-for-profit youth intervention charity working to transform the lives of young people at risk of becoming trapped in a cycle of social problems. The princess opted for Roland Murray jacket with an angular fitted blazer and flared trousers and wore her thick brunette locks in bouncy blow-dried curls. Kate slipped into her camel pointed toe heels, adding sophistication to a chic business aesthetic. The royal also added a slick of dark mascara and smoky eyeliner to highlight her enchanting green eyes. It's the sixth consecutive public engagement where the future queen has worn a suit perhaps indicating her new executive style as she steps up in role. Catherine's appearance yesterday was praised by many royal fans who admitted her elegance similar to Princess Diana. Roland Murray, CEO, had a post on social media praising Princess Catherine as an ideal model for office attire. She always dresses appropriately for the events she attends. Meanwhile, sister-in-law Meghan Markle was criticised for dressing inappropriately, even though Harry's wife deliberately chose the colours beige, camel and white. For example, at the Invictus Games event, Meghan also wore camel colours just like Kate. But Meghan lost points when she wore skimpy shorts while marching next to veterans. Personal stylist, personal shopper and image coach Melissa Lund spoke exclusively to Express.co.uk about the Duchess's fashion fails. She opined, Nice effort, but the execution is all wrong. Oversized doesn't flatter Meghan because it swamps her frame. There was one acceptable outfit of black jeans and trainers, but all the others were questionable, given that she was there not as a spectator, but as the wife of the patron, and where the patron was representing the Invictus Games Foundation. One expects the wife of a patron to be dressed either in Invictus Games attire or smart casual when meeting competitors and handing out medals. Some claim it was some sort of fashion show, but most of the outfits weren't fashionable and lacked style, as well as the use of an iron, so let us call it what it is. A week of free photo shoots to try merchandise designers and brands, to try and entice brands to pay her to wear or use their products. A commentator also referred to Meghan merch in clothing. This is the kind of outfit that a backstreet hooker would have worn in the 90s, displaying their goods for a cheap trick, and not the sort of outfit one expects from someone allegedly representing the Invictus Games Foundation, who is flashing her private parts. The Dusseldorf Invictus Games are finally over, but the PR images generated during the period will no doubt be released slowly over the next few months. The Harkles didn't seem to have paid a penny for a 10-day free photo shoot packed with PR opportunities, while travelling first class and staying in a luxury hotel suite with all expenses paid. Competitors were probably travelling economy or arriving by coach, and more than likely had to share rooms to keep costs down. A quick tally for the costs of Meghan, Harry and their entourage would come to at least £200,000, based on an entourage of six, including PR and security.